let's go You ain't got a girl right now? Nope Well, cause you ain't got no game I know I'ma show you how to do it real quick GD style write it down Woo! Here's some rules though What's up guys? How's it going? Tommy here And as I promised, I am making this video of my North Face book bag that I recently purchased. I've been using this um, book bag for about a week now and you know I'm loving this so much that I'm coming to make a video about it so you guys know how I feel about this. Uh, I bought this book bag from a retail store that sells the North Face products uh, right here, yeah the North Face. I bought this from Dick Sporting Goods I don't know if you guys heard of that but there's they're pretty common they're kinda like Sports Authority so I don't know whether they have in your area or not. You should, try, uh, you should check it out. Purchased this book bag for $115, and I have to say, even though it is a little bit pricey, you know, it's been worth it all the way. Now, I just want to make a quick video showing you guys my thoughts and my impressions about this bag and what it has to offer for the full price of $115. So, this bag advertises itself to be a bag saving technology, which is, uh, a primary reason for why I bought it. I walk around a lot at my university so I need something that can distribute the load on my back. Now first off um, this bag advertises to have I think about six pockets. There's one in the front here, the second one is here, the third one is here, the fourth one's in the back and I'm guessing these two pockets here are kind of uh, po pockets as well within the six. So, let me, guys, let me give you guys a quick run through of all the pockets on this backpack. Now the first pocket is accessed by a clasp right in front. So just unhook that. And there's two zippers along the sides which open the flap up like this. Revealing mesh pockets and a media button or a media pocket up here. For putting your iPod and stuff like that so you could uh, loop out your earphones all the way to the other side when you're listening to music. There's a mesh pocket here, second one here, and there's a big mesh pocket along the bottom as well as room for stuff down there as well. Now that's the first pocket. The second pocket is accessed by a zipper up here, right behind that, and in here reveals an organizer with a mesh pocket here as well as a sleeve here, pockets there, more pockets down there, mesh pocket for a cell phone, some more pockets down there, as well as three po uh, three slots here for pens and pencils. So this book bag makes a great backpack for the student or anyone looking to do some hiking and whatnot. <laughs> this brand, if you're not familiar with it, it is a outdoor brand that makes products specifically for people who hike or go camping and stuff like that because it does feature a lot of space also some more notable features about this bag um, let me get into the rest of the pockets after this pocket here there is a main compartment in the back here with two tubes running along here so um, once you have books stacked inside they won't harm your laptop which is what is held in the back pocket here uh, this main compartment can stretch out to however big as you want there are compression clips on the side on either side one here and one on the opposite side here that can unclip if you need to expand this book bag to a bigger size now in the back which is probably the main reason why I bought this bag was to carry my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Um, it fits in here pretty snugly. I don't have it with me right now to demonstrate but uh, once it's in here it probably stops at about right here which gives me enough space to zip it back up. Now on the bottom when you sit your MacBook Pro in here or any other laptop your computer doesn't hit all the way down here. It stops at about right here and there's like a tube of cushion down here to uh, prevent your computer from sitting directly onto the floor when you have your backpack like that. I apologize if this backpack is kind of huge. I'm pretty up close to the camera right now, so sorry about that guys. Please bear with me. Um, also, there is a pocket down here 
for your chargers and cables and stuff like that which is pretty handy and there's also compression straps down here to fully compress the backpack when you don't have much so when you have this backpack on your back it doesn't like stick out it lays flat on, uh, it lays flat on your back just like that so it's pretty cool now another thing I want to talk about is the straps the straps here uh, the straps are really thin but they're adequate like the North Face makes a very good job at making lightweight straps that you know at, uh, I don't want to use the word accurately but they make a good enough strap to hold the load of your backpack that's what I'm going to say um, in addition to the straps there is a cell phone pocket here I don't know many cell phones that can fit in here certainly an iPhone won't fit in here but if you have like one of those small phones you can probably stick it in there and then carry it around when you're on the go now there is a chest clip right in the front right there as you can see that you can adjust according to however you want it so it's basically what this is is like plastic sliding along the tube on the side of the strap uh, there's North Face brand there which is basically printed which is uh, it's very durably printed too this shows no signs of wearing and tearing over time so this is pretty good and there is a waist clip down here which helps distribute the load evenly when you have heavy stuff in your backpack I haven't used it yet because I haven't had that many stuff that much stuff or uh, that many books to carry but just having it there it's a good addition now, I just found this out recently there is a pocket like you see these two pockets on the side to hold your water bottles there is a pocket behind that pocket to put your waist straps in when you're not using it so it doesn't get in the way so that's pretty cool anyway guys this has been my uh, I guess sort of unboxing and quick review of the North Face Surge uh, before I purchased this I couldn't find many videos on YouTube talking about this bag so I wanted to go ahead and make a video to show you guys out there that the North Face does make quality bags um, if you guys haven't heard of North Face just check it out um, like I said they are pricey but they're worth every penny uh, this has gone through rain this has gone through you know semi abuse I guess since I've spent so much on it I try not to like sit on the floor as much but I mean I still do and it still shows no sign of use or wear because it looks uh, pretty brand new I did opt out for the black they also come in uh, various colors like red blue gray uh, sky blue and stuff like that but to keep it simple I stayed with the black and I have can be happier this is a surge it uh, says surge right there it's printed in a it's printed as well just like the North Face logo on the back but it shows no sign of wear or tear and it looks like it's gonna stay there for a good while uh, the main brand up here the logo up here is stitched in so that's pretty uh, durable there and that's basically it guys that's all I want to say about this bag overall it's a great bag and if you're looking for style along with durability along with comfort and a place to put your books and laptop this is the bag for you again this is uh, a quick unboxing and quick review of the North Face Surge thanks guys for watching this video sorry sorry if it was kinda long um, if you haven't seen any of my videos please check them out and thanks to everyone for all the rates the comments and the subscriptions thanks for all the support anyway guys this is Tommy peace take care